Hello, my friends. This is a Saima X5C. People ask me questions about this model every day, so I bought one to hack it apart and tell you what I think about it. To open it up, remove the screws out of the props, remove the props, then turn it over and remove the gazillion of screws on the bottom. When you finally have removed them all, you can just pop the two halves apart and get to the guts. The number one question I get is, how do I put more powerful motors in this thing? So let's have a look what's installed here. You can pop out the whole motor gear assembly and then just push out the motor. This is a 7 millimeter cordless motor and it has a 90 plastic pinion on the 1 millimeter shaft. It's a very good 7 millimeter motor, so if you replace it with another 7 millimeter motor, you will probably not gain a lot of performance. See those nozzles inside of the motor mount? They reduce the diameter from 8.5 to 7 millimeters. I happen to have these mounts here, which are identical, but they don't have the nozzles, so I can put larger motors in there. This is a motor I usually use for the alias. It has long enough wires to solder straight into the board, but it also has 11T pinions, which are too large. I'm going to put some 9T pinions on these motors to use them in the X5C. Just pull them off, push new pinion on. To remove the old motors, I just cut the wires and leave a couple of millimeters on there just to give me an indication where I have to solder stuff later on. Just pop them all out and install the new motor pots with the larger motors. To make sure I'm getting the soldering right, I'm now removing one little wire piece and add the related motor wire in its place before I move on to the next solar point to remove the little rest wire and replace it with its corresponding new wire. If you desolder them all at once and then try to get it right, good luck. Once you have it all connected, tuck the wires in so you're not getting pinched by the shell or by the screws, and then pop the top back on. Arr, something doesn't fit. These gear assembly pots, these holes in here, I have some burr in there or something. Gotta sand them out a little bit. Yeah. Now it fits, and I can put it back together. To put the gazillion screws back in there, I'm using a speed and torque controlled assembly line screwdriver on um, a very low torque setting. If you don't have such fancy thing, I recommend to use a manual screwdriver, not an electric one, otherwise it's very easy to strip out those tiny, tiny threads. Put the props back on and make sure that the higher edges point inwards from the front and rear. And then four more screws. I bought this thing BNF, 
without the transmitter. Let's hope this one here works. One last tip before I try to fly this thing. Um, put some dry chain lubricant on these plastic gears and they will not sound that nasty and last a bit longer. Yeah, this battery almost full. Let's get to the fun part. It's cold outside. I'm wearing shoes. Yay, it works. So the first thing I always want to do on these controllers, put them in expert mode. Um, I think it's the left button here. Press the left button until it beeps twice. Then it's, yeah, expert mode. Yes, bigger motors make it quite peppy. But, well, it's also quite difficult to fly. Let's see, beginner mode. Nah, that's even harder. Back to expert. Yeah, controls really don't feel very nice. Um, I don't think it's so much a problem of the motors, more of the flight controller and transmitter. In this case, probably mostly the transmitter. I'm not sure if this is the stock transmitter that will come with the X5C. I think it's not. I think it should be a little larger one with um, with longer sticks. It might make it easier to fly. It's quite a challenge to fly this thing and not crash it into the trees. Well, I like challenges. Let's press this button here. <laughs> ooh, ooh. And still not crash into the trees. Kabuya! <laughs> Did you see that? Triple flip! Just press the button and keep the stick pressed. Oops. Yeah, well, I didn't technically crash into the trees, right? Ah, that doesn't sound good. What happened? Just throw it up and pull this corner down. I ah, see, that's the broken one. What happened to it? Oh, look, one of the teeth of the pinion broke off. Well, lucky, that's the easiest part to fix. Yeah, so it flies again. I really don't like how it flies. I think that's due to this crappy transmitter controller thing here. I have another Saima. Let's see if that controller works better. Oh yeah, expert mode. Yeah, much nicer. I think I can crash faster this time. doesn't flip as batshit crazy with this controller than with the other one, but yeah, it's a lot more controllable. Very nice flyer, actually. I put links to the parts you need to copy this into the video description. See you later.